This is the hardest offense to stop in Madden 24. It has explosive run plays. Unstoppable glitch routes all over the field. And one play touchdowns versus every defense in the game. Break yourself, fool! So if you want to see what offense I'm using to get results like this, see ya. stick around after the intro. For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no-band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what is probably my favorite offense that I put out this year, and I'll be showing this against one of the best players in my brand new 32 subscriber online CFM league that I started a few weeks ago. The player that I will be playing against today is an aspiring Twitch streamer, so if you guys want to show him some support, I will leave links to his Twitch in the description. But I will tell you ahead of time that he's a very good player, especially on offense, as he is top three in the league in offense and has an undefeated record with the exception of a 2-0 loss that is a glitch that sometimes happens in CFM, despite the box score clearly showing that he was winning by a blowout. So I knew heading into the game that I would need a good offensive performance myself, but before I do, if you guys want to continue to see content from my CFM like this, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section as it really helps out the channel and I appreciate the support. And if you're interested in joining the league or more accurately joining the waiting list to get into the league, I will leave links to the Discord server in the description. The playbook that I'm going to be using today is my custom ebook because everyone else is using a custom one, so why wouldn't I as well? So I created a playbook that is absolutely packed with almost 500 of my favorite plays that I put out in Madden 24. But if you guys want to see more, you can download these or any of my ebooks instantly simply by clicking the links in the description or the top hit comment. I started this game out on defense and I will once again be using my 3-3 odd scheme as this is really the only defense that I use. But I will be focusing mostly on offense in this gameplay so if you guys want to see more about this defense, I already made a full breakdown of it in a previous video. So I will have links in the description as well as on screen at the end of this video. On the first drive, I got him into a fourth down situation but he picked it up. Then I got a big sack to push him back to second and 19 and he picked it up again on the very next play before scoring a few plays later to send me a message to start the game. The offensive formation I'm going to be showing you guys today is to me the meta rushing offense in Madden 24, and that is the I form close. A formation that I put out several months ago after a patch that was easily my favorite. If you've already seen this scheme or use it, you're in luck because I have a bunch of new, never before seen plays that I lab specifically for this league since I'm in a league with so many subscribers that probably know all my offenses and defenses. This is also another scheme that I made a full breakdown of, so I'll once again have links in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video, so stick around for that. The only adjustments that I'm going to make are to put my fastest receiver Quez Watkins here as all the one play touchdowns come from this spot and the other receiver is mostly used as a blocker so I put AJ Brown as I equipped him with honorary linemen. I also put my fastest tight end at the fullback spot as I use him as more as a pass catcher than anything else. My audible plays are preset to the mesh double drags and the PA deep cross go for short passing and the PA tight end league for both short passing and all my one play touchdowns. My fourth audible play is the power O for inside running and my fifth and active play is the stretch run for outside running. On the first play, he must know that I like to run stretch plays because I immediately see that his defense is spread wide to try to stop outside runs. So anytime I see a defensive end out wide like this, I will switch to my inside run to power O. But the key to this offense is to flip with the right stick towards the weak side. Doing this will create something similar to a trap block, taking this defensive end completely out of the play and allowing me to run inside of him for a huge gain on first down. And since this defense is so wide and inviting, I'm going to call a hurry up and do it again until he stops it, adjusts, or calls a timeout. I don't want to get too predictable in the next play, so I call the halfback stretch and I motion out the fullback so he can get to the edge a little bit quicker. And we're off to the races in just three plays. He could go all the way. As his last defender comes out of nowhere to stop me inside the five. Before he finally calls a timeout to change defenses. And we inch our way into the end zone with a drag. On defense, I get a huge sack on third down to push him back to a fourth and 14, but he converts it once again before he dials up a crossing route for another big touchdown and lead. Back on offense, I choose the P 
a deep cross on the next play to start the drive, as this play has multiple routes to beat any defense, as all I really have to do is put the tight end on a 5 yard in route. The running back gets open against any zone except hard flats, the 5 yard in is really just bait. If the user drops back on the deeper crosser, he will get open as well. And the MVP is the deep crossing route, which gets open against any man or zone. The goal of this scheme is to pull the user down with run plays so that he bites on the play action and it allows this deep crossing route to get open. But I accidentally put the fullback on a wheel, which is part of the setup for another play, and I leave it alone because I don't want to get a penalty for making too many adjustments. It also pulls his user into the area that I'm trying to attack with the deep crosser, but luckily it also confused him at the last minute. As you can see, he didn't know where the ball was going. I call that play again on the next play, only this time I set it up right with a brand new adjustment since he just saw this play and I know he will be watching for the crossing route. So I put the fullback on a curl right over the middle of the field and now when he leaves to follow the crossing route, my fullback is going to be wide open over the middle. I try to run again, but I get a weird throw animation over the middle of the tight end, so I think that I'm going to have to pound the rock. To my surprise, though, when I come out on fourth down, he changed defenses entirely. Probably more concerned with the pass play at this point. So I thought that I'd have an easy first down but I still barely get it. From here, I run a hurry up again to keep him in it and pound the rock relentlessly against his now smaller defense as he only has one timeout left that he does not want to use before I break off a big stretch run to tie the game with only a minute left before halftime. I get the ball after half, so he is playing for the score since neither one of us has gotten a stop yet, and I almost get an interception on the very next play as we get into an absolute dogfight for the ball before he gets in a field goal range and has to start spiking the ball. But he probably should have just settled for the field goal as he pushes the ball downfield for the first mistake of the game. Gotcha, bitch! And we're going the other way with two timeouts in our pocket and plenty of time. I can't really run the ball in this situation though, so I switch to the exact same offense that he was using from the gun stack by Flex, which is easily one of my favorite passing schemes, and I'm guessing he might have got that from me. But I don't need any of those timeouts as I read cover three right away, so I go right to my cover three one play touchdown in the Z spot, as I am already on the hash mark to the open side of the field, which is required for this play to work. After that, I just have to motion out the running back and put everyone on streaks to pull this safety to the right, except for the corner route, as this will pull the cornerback to the left and leave this receiver wide open up the seam. And he must know this play because he saw it coming right away, but there's nothing you can do to stop it. Break yourself, fool! Just like that! I get the ball in the second half, and even though he coffin corners me, I still get the edge as I start the second half in what should have been a return touchdown. only to get too cocky slash I couldn't see the entire field and I got caught at the five. Which I'm totally cool with because I'm trying to get an award for Swift anyway as I motion across Brown to create a wall of blockers to get in the end zone on the very next play. On defense, he goes down the field once again to get into scoring range, but I'm always cool with that as I just want to keep you out of the end zone. And I do exactly that on the very next play as we get an interception inside the five and a nice return. He comes out in the 4-3 even 6-1 pretty much every time I call this offense, so I continue to try to take what the defense gives me. And even though I want to run to kill clock, I know the better opportunity is to pass against this. And since he wants to stay in this larger defense, I decide to go back to the stack by flex to get him out of it. And the second I do, he comes out in the light box, allowing me to run the inside zone to get in the field goal range before shutting me down with good user run defense on the next two plays to force a third and long. One of the abilities I put on Jalen Hurts shows me blitzers on third and fourth down, so the second I see the blitz icon pop up on these outside cornerbacks, I know that he switched to the DB fire too. So I know I need to get the ball out quick, so I switch to the drive H wheel, streak the B receiver to pull back the safety as we take a three touchdown lead. Oh shit, that's just too easy! So obviously now he has to push the ball downfield as he is desperate to get back into this game and doesn't want to get blown out. So now I have to score again, making me go right back to the PA deep cross one more time. But I know that he's looking for that. So to make this crossing route even harder to cover, I put him on a smart route so that it makes it even deeper, making the margin for error even that much slimmer for his user as he chases the fullback. Psych! And I get a huge 40 yard completion. And now I'm just running the ball regardless of what the results look like before I am forced to throw on third and four and I barely squeeze it in over his user to get inside the 10. For some reason though, I get a little bit too creative and switch to an entirely different offense so that I can set up a one play touchdown from 11 yards away. Fuck are you doing? Which obviously results in an interception late in the fourth quarter when a field goal would have been just fine. From here we're just trying to play prevent as he makes another catch and run play to make it a ball game with over five minutes left in the game. Oh you motherfuckers. <laughs> okay. He also decides to go for two as he is playing for the win. Fuck you! But that was a mistake as I now have an 8 point lead. And my offense is now pretty much a one play scheme as I run the exact same play once again. And he almost had it bagged but he left the 5 yard in wide open so I playmaker him up the field for another big play. As we flip the field with our own catch and run. 
From here, I know a field goal wins the game, so I'll go back to running the ball regardless of the outcome as we just pound the rock straight ahead before calling the hurry up one more time to get inside the five and force him to use one of those precious timeouts that he will need if he wants to win this game. He gets me to a third and two, and I call double drags, but I'm not taking any chances as I turn the cornerback with Hurts instead to get a two-score lead back. And after that, he just takes the rest of the fourth quarter to go all the way down the field to score with 26 seconds left. And now the game comes down to an onside kick. As we get it back and we end it with knees, extending our record to 4 and 1 in my league. So that's that's the video. If you guys want to see more games from my subscriber league, my next game is against a former NFL player who currently has the number one offense in the league. So make sure to be a subscriber for that. Other than that, I'll have links to the offenses and defenses I was using in this video popping up on screen. So if you want to learn more, just click the links. And thanks for watching, man. I'm it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.